happened to me yesterday. I had my heart set on eating something I really wanted to eat. Well, last week, my family and I went to the grocery store and my job was pick out the meat. And I love picking out meat. So I went to the guy behind the fish counter. And you know what I saw behind the counter? I saw this. A beautiful filet of salmon. And I was like, oh man, this is gonna be like our special meal. So I went and I picked it out. I picked the most beautiful piece of salmon. And I bought it. And I brought it home. And we brought it home to the, to the refrigerator. And you know what happened? We forgot about it. We left it in the refrigerator for five days and then yesterday when I tried to cook it, it was bad. It was real bad. And so I got real sad, to be honest with you. Let me tell you another story. Let me introduce you to someone. This is Grace. She was my dog when I was just about 10 years old. And I talked my parents into getting a dog for me and we went to the pet store and we saw her and I fell in love right away and I was like, can I please have this dog? And my parents said, yes. But here's the thing, I was 10 and I didn't do all the research about my dog. My dog is a Weimaraner, so she is a German hunting dog. Related to the Greyhound, if you know what I'm saying, they like to run. And so I didn't know that and I kept Grace in a cage and I didn't walk her very much. And then I accidentally, she was, I had a collar and she was um, clipped and I clipped her collar and she ran and she ran and she ran. And unfortunately, I never, I never could find Grace. I was never able to find my dog ever again. But why am I telling you these really sad stories? Well, I know it's one thing. We're all like losing things and we all, because of this whole coronavirus and COVID-19, we've lost something. We all have, whether it be if you, haven't been able to go to school or you haven't been able to play your favorite sport or you haven't been able to go to the gym or you haven't been able to go to your favorite restaurant or maybe you haven't gotten to been able to go to work or you haven't been able to see the people that you really would love to hang out with we've all lost something and i just wanted to share an important part about losing things it's really important to just sit with it for a while and I know my salmon story was just a small thing, but I did feel lost about it, but I really felt lost for my dog. And so this is what I had to learn, is you have to sit with it. You just have to not try to move on, not try to say, hey, you know, my parents, they were trying to help me, and they said, hey, you know, maybe we can get a new dog. You, you can't, you just have to grieve with it. You have to kind of feel that loss. And if you do that, the amazing thing is the natural process of healing will help you move to the next step. So I just wanted to talk to you about that, just an idea of, you know, as we all lose something, just allow some space and time to grieve it, to just say, I feel sad about that, because it's important before you can kind of move on to the next part of the healing process. Okay. See you later. Take care.